isn't it funny how we forget when we were children when we become parents? Like we become parents and suddenly we think that we forget everything we ever did to our children, right? And we're just like, oh, we were, we were the best kids, right? You know, oh, no, no, this is what we really do, right? What we really do is we blame our parents for being bad parents. That's why we were bad kids, right? That was the problem. If our parents had been better parents, we would have been better kids, but they weren't. They left us home, home alone too much on our own. They gave us too much leeway to do stuff. They didn't take us to church enough. We got all kinds of reasons to blame our parents for being bad kids, right? Right, this is what we have. And then when we have kids, that we would, then you think that's gonna transfer to us, like we're bad parents. No, 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 we're not bad parents. We're great parents. They're just ungrateful and unreasonable, right? No matter what happens, right? So we put ourselves in this place where we blame our parents for our issue, but then our kids were like, oh, well, they had incredible parents. I mean, I never missed a Sunday, right? You know, I've been so good to them. I love them so much, right? But we, but we, have, this, we have this blind spot about our own history and about our own use of God's mercy when it comes to dishing out mercy to another person, right? And that's where David doesn't have. David does not have a blind spot. He knows everything that he has, he got from God in a way that he did not earn it. He never earned it. So he can give out mercy more freely and he, has, he takes on that. And he makes mercy, he extends his mercy and his grace because there's no other way. He knows there's no other way for his children to learn or advance without giving them mercy. That punishment may teach sometimes, but mercy will always teach in the end because they'll be making the decisions on, the, on themselves.